It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, April the 21st, 2020. Welcome to our distant learning class. Our question of today is, do this fruit grow on trees? Does this fruit grow on trees? Text me your response and tell me what is the name of this fruit. I love you ritual for today is called hot cross buns. On this, we're going on, um, it's like a little patty cake game, but we're doing this in the tune of hot cross buns. And um, when I say hot cross buns, each time you're going to first, you're going to um, sit in front of your child because both of you are going to participate in this together. And the part where I say hot, you're going to clap your thighs. When I say cross, you're going to clap your hands. One penny, two penny. What you're going to do, both of you, both you and your child going to hold up on your right finger, um, your index hand, on your index finger, you're going to hold up on your right hand and on your left finger you're gonna hold up two to represent two pennies so this is gonna represent one penny this is gonna represent two penny okay so you and your child are going to touch your index fingers together on one and when i say two penny you're going to cross over and touch both on the right hand two fingers y'all gonna to touch those together and y'all gonna repeat saying hot cross buns. So hot cross buns. And the part where I say give them to your daughters, you're going to shake your child's right hand. When I say give them to your sons, you're going to shake your son left hand. And repeat the um penny part. One penny, two penny, hot cross buns. Okay, so. We're going to do this all together. I know this is kind of um, fast, but we're going to do it all together on three. One, two, three. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One penny, two penny, hot cross buns. Give them to your daughters, give them to your sons. One penny, two penny, hot cross buns. Okay, so that was I Love You Ritual. Now it's story time. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them them right up to your chin 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 open up your little mouse but do not let them in 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 open and shut them open and shut them story time begins the name of our story is black all around black all around the author of this book is patricia humbell and the illustrator is Don Tate. Black all around. Can anybody guess what you think this book is about? Okay, so take a moment and guess what this book is about. Okay. I'm going to take a guess. I think this is about introducing the color black. Okay, let's see inside. Let's see what's going on inside look high look low look everywhere the wonderful color black is there sleek and jazzy warm and cozy beautiful black black all around so what time of day does this um picture represent what time of day is this? If you said nighttime, you are correct. It is nighttime. It is dark black. The inside of a pocket where surprises hide. A nighttime lake where fishes glide.
The letters that live on each page of a book, the hole in the ground, that's a little mole's nook, the gleaming paint on a limousine, the braided hair of a stately queen. So what is a limousine? Limousine, this is a long, fancy car. In limousine, people may use, you might see some fancy movie stars. They might ride in a limousine. Probably people at a wedding party. Prom. This is a limousine. A big workhorse. Some cats, of course. Glossy beetles. Busy ants. The clothes men wear on a to a fancy dance. The crack in the wall where a chipmunk scoops, a firefighter's boots, the gentle eyes of a fawn and a doe. A long, long tunnel where a train goes slow. Beautiful black, black all around, like the back of a dream of stars and moon that floats through your head on an afternoon when you take a nap in a big old chair. Velvet soft, satin sleep, daddy's arms, mama's cheek. The headlines in the daily news, patent leather party shoes, clarinets and piano keys, the fuzzy stripes on bumblebees, a polished stone, a licorice twist. Tall trunks of trees in the morning mist, car tracks that curve through fresh new snow and make you wonder where they go. Crayons, crickets, the bottom of the sea, the empty place where a tooth should be. I know some of y'all was um, starting to miss tooth, uh, missing some of y'all teeth while we were in school. Are y'all still, some of y'all, are y'all still um, losing your tooth? I see this little girl on this page, she's missing a tooth. If you have missed, if you have lost a tooth since we were out of school, I want you to comment toothless. Let's make it fun. Comment toothless in the comment section. If you have missing a tooth since we were out of school. A ladybug spot, a clown's polka dots, the rich damp dirt in a flower pot.
Labrador retrievers, lively poodles, inky squiggles, and splashes and doodles. What is she drawing a picture of? What is that? What is she drawing? I think she drawing a picture of her puppy, a poodle, a black ink spot, and a smiling face. Some chickens, bunnies, cows, and goats. The closet where we store our winter coats. Oh, look at that. Now they are making little um animal hand puppets. That looks like fun. The cozy night when there is no light, when the dark breathes deep and you drift to sleep. Dreaming your dream of beautiful black, black all around. The end. These are some pretty black pictures. If you like this book, give me a thumbs up. I want you to comment thumbs up in the comment section if you like this story. Okay? That was our read aloud for today. And for our Ready Rosie, I want you to watch the video Taking Inventory. And with after you watch the video, video you're going to ask your child to help you take inventory of some of the items in your home. Like y'all can um you know come up with a shopping list of toilet paper, probably some paper towels, some um fork spoons. Have them to y'all take some inventory together. And once you do your inventory, you're gonna ask them to count the items or objects. They're gonna count the items or object. After they count them, they are gonna write the number down. So first you're going, y'all gonna do some inventory together. They are going to count whatever you have. And they are going to write the number down on a sheet of paper. Okay, that's our Ready Rosie. And our extended learning is words and motion. And with that, you're going to take a sheet of paper. You're going to write several action words on a, you know, either big sheet of paper, notebook paper, whatever you have. And you're going to help your child to create the movement of the word that you've written down. So, for instance, if you wrote the word lean or lean to the side you're going to demonstrate that action with them so they'll know what that word is if you wrote the word sway there you're going to sway and, th and with this they're practicing um knowing how to convert the motion with the word and they're also learning how to spell the word and recognize the word in letters so you get like two you they learn two different things in one with this activity okay so this concludes our distant learning um class for today and i wish all of you well and i'll see you on tomorrow bye bye be safe